All we got it easy. You only take it easy. Yeah. Ah, love playing my guitar. This was the probably the very first thing I ever bought when I started making bunches of money back in the day. It's a Martin D45 for those of you who know anything about guitars. And uh, back in the day, this over 20 years ago, this was about $6,000. It's got all the mother of pearl inlays and stuff. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So having a nice guitar that has great sound and hand craftsmanship is, is awesome. That helps. Um, my skill level well, I'm, a, I'm not a great guitar player. I'm an adequate guitar player. Definitely uh, nothing too amazing, but I can play. So got an exceptional guitar, got some adequate skills. So the only thing I really need to uh, make some pretty good sounds out of it is to make sure it's in tune. If you got a good guitar, you know how to play and it's in tune, you're good to go. But what happens when you're out of tune? Well, let's see what happens when you're out of tune. Now, I've got my electronic tuner here because if I try to do this by myself and I'm unskilled and I don't know how to tune it, can you see there you got a dial and when you hit the chord it's yellow but when it, you hit the chord and it's in tune it goes green. What a concept. So yeah all six strings right at this moment are in tune right on the nose they're all going green so now let's just take one of the six not all just one of the six and let's take it out of tune and not a whole lot just maybe a quarter of a turn mm, that sounds nice so let's do the same song y'all to take it easy are we gonna do Isn't that just horrible? There, now, now. Wow. Just one string being slightly out of tune makes all of the music really difficult to listen to. So what's my point? Well, my point is this, you know, throughout the course of the year, many of you are going to make New Year's resolution, get it all fired up. We're going to start off in January and you're going to be in tune. It's going to be good. You're going to have a nice sound. But as you play the guitar, guys, as you simply play your guitar, do normal wear and tear on your guitar, all guitars get out of tune. I don't care if it's a $5,000 guitar or a $50 guitar, no matter how much you want it to stay in tune, the actual playing of it, when you're bending strings and doing chords and sliding around, it's gonna get out of tune. Just like your life's gonna get out of tune. You're gonna have things, your business is gonna get out of tune. See, there's times when everything is flowing right, when it feels like you're swimming with the tide, and there's times you feel like you're swimming against the tide. Everything you're doing isn't working, it's frustrated. You're out of tune. So let me ask you a question. If you wanna play your guitar while it's out of tune, if I play it a lot while it's out of tune, does that make it better? No. When it's out of tune, it's out of tune. You can have the greatest guitar player in the world, and you can have the greatest guitar in the world, but when it's out of tune, you're screwed. You can have the greatest business opportunity in the world, and you can be a dynamic business person, but if you're out of tune, you're never going to succeed at the highest level. So what's the answer? The answer is to tune your guitar back up and or tune yourself back up. Let me see, you can't see this because it's out of the screen now, but there we go. Ah. So now it's in tune again. What a concept. Didn't take that long. But notice I had a professional device. I didn't do it on myself. Einstein, I think, is the one who said the thinking that got you into a bad situation the same thinking cannot get you out of that situation. So if you're out of tune, one of my favorite lessons to you is you can't get back in tune by yourself. You need a professional to help you get in tune. So the guitar is back in tune now. Everything's cool, but I needed a professional. Now, how do I get back in tune? I listen to CDs all the time of dynamic people, not music, not Lady Gaga. I listen to CDs of 
really successful dynamic business people. John C. Maxwell, Tony Robbins, you know, some of the best people in the world. There's a wide variety. I love Jack Canfield, uh, John Asroff. There's bunches of people. So I don't care if you use their stuff. Obviously, if you use my stuff, whoever you're using, you want to listen to audios. You want to watch videos. And you can do that every day. Read books. And you should do it every day. My gosh, look at all the books behind me. I mean, I've literally got hundreds of books. I'm always, and that doesn't count the ones that are on my iPad. So I've got, I don't know, six, seven hundred books that I've read that all have something to do with business or personal development or leadership or whatever the case might be. And no matter how many I've read, I'll read more. I'll read it again and again and again because there's always more to learn. And I'm always keeping myself in tune. See, just like no chiropractor can adjust your back once and have it stay forever, as I said, no guitar is going to stay in tune forever. So my recommendation is get in tune. And you know what? The books and the CDs and all that stuff, that's great. But the best way is go to a live event. Man, I go to two or three live events a year at least. And those live events are like supercharging it. You know, instead of having a little device like this to get you in tune, when you do that, it's like going to the Martin Guitar Factory themselves and letting those people get that guitar in such perfect tune it's not even funny. Now, when you go to a live event, it'll be perfectly in tune, but after a while, it'll go back out of tune. So go to another live event. I told you, I go to at least three a year. I find that once every three or four months, my battery runs down, I get out of tune, and I need to recharge. So I just want to do a little analogy for you. After all, this is Edutainment Weekly, and hopefully this makes sense to you. I love to twist things in every different angle you can possibly look at it, so you see it from a different perspective. And if you don't understand that you need to constantly recharge your battery, and you need to always be putting information in your mind and in your heart so that you can go out and feed other people if you want to be a great leader, then maybe you simply understand this analogy that the greatest guitar in the world when it's out of tune is really completely worthless. So get yourself in tune. And I'm going to leave you by starting the song I finished because it's the Eagles and I've got my Eagles shirt on. This is from the Hell Freezes Over Tour. I hate to tell you this, 1994. That was a long time ago. That's almost 20 years ago. And what's terrifying is the Eagles had been disbanded for 13 years before the Hell Freezes Over tour. They said they'd get back together when Hell Freezes Over. So, man, I, I'm an Eagles fan. I might be older than I'd like to admit. But that has nothing to do with being in tune. That's just a little... Um, I'm not sure what that was. So, we ought to take it easy. Y'all to take it easy, yeah. Have a great 2012.